Hey everyone, this is Owen with Motion Array, and in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create this animated fire in After Effects. All right, let's get to it. I'll start in this composition where I already have the log and the background done. If you'd like to see how I made this grainy texture, you can check out our tutorial on it in the description below. I'll go up to Layer, New, Solid, and I'll make the solid 100 by 350, and I'll just make it a yellow for now, although the color is not important at this stage. And then I'll hit OK. I'll also name this bar 1. And I'll move the anchor point to the bottom of the layer. And if I hold Command, it'll snap. Then I'll pull up its position with P on the keyboard. And I'll change that value to 660 by 740. Then I'll go to Layer, New, Null Object. And I'll rename this null to be Wiggle Control. Then I'll go up to Effect, Expression Controls, Slider Control. I'll duplicate the slider control twice so that I have three sliders. And I'll name them Frequency, Amp 1, and Amp 2. Then I'll go down to my Bars Scale, and I'll apply the following expression. This expression is in the video description below so that you can easily copy and paste it. This is creating two different wiggle expressions so that the vertical and horizontal wiggle can be different from each other. I'll go to my slider controls and I'll change the frequency to 7, amp 1 to 25, and amp 2 to 5. Then I'll duplicate my bar 1 layer. I'll pull up its position with P and I'll add 100 in the X dimension. Then I'll pull up its scale with S and I'll unlink the properties and I'll change the Y scale to 50%. Then I'll go through a process of duplicating these and moving them along till I have seven bars where both outsides should be tall bars and they should be roughly centered to the composition. Now I'll select the wiggle control and all my bars and I'll go up to layer, precompose. I'll name this new composition Firebase, and then I'll hit OK. With my Firebase selected, I'll go up to Effect, Blur and Sharpen, Gaussian Blur. And for my blurriness, I'll set that to 150. Then I'll go up to Effect, Color Correction, Levels. And I'll drop my channel to Alpha, and then I'll start crushing these values in. This process turns those rectangular bars into a nice organic shape. Then I'll go to Effect, Generate, Gradient Ramp. In my Gradient Ramp settings, I'll change the black to a yellow, and the white to an orange. Then I'll adjust the position of my Start and End Ramp. Then I'll drag the Firebase below the log, and then I'll duplicate it. I'll go over to my project panel, and I'll find that Firebase comp, and I'll duplicate it in my project panel as well. I'll open up this duplicated comp, and I'll pull up the scale of all my bars. And I'll go ahead and unlink the scale properties. For my tall bars, I'm going to change the X scale to 60%. And for the short ones, I'm going to change it to 160. Then I'll go back out to my main comp. In my main comp, I'll select the top of the Firebase layers. And then I'll go up to my project panel and select this duplicated Firebase. And I'll drag it in. And if I hold Option, I can replace the layer with the project panel source. I'll pull up the scale of the second Firebase layer, and I'll unlink the properties, and I'll change it to 9875. Then I'll go up to my effect controls for it, and I'll go ahead and change that gradient ramp so that it starts at an orange, and then it goes to more of a red. I'll also go ahead and bump up the blurriness to 180. And I'll adjust my level so that the fire's a little bit smaller. I'll also turn off this log layer so I can see my flames and then I can move my Firebase 2 down just a little bit. 
Since my fire is a little bit large for my log right now, I'm going to go ahead and parent this second fire base to the first one. And I'll change the scale here to 70% in the width. And I think that that fits the log much better. So we could call it here, but I like to do one last step to this and it's completely optional. I'll go ahead and go up to layer, new adjustment layer, and then I'll go to effect time, posterize time. And in my posterize time settings, I'll just change that frame rate to 15. And that just halves my frame rate and gives it a bit of a choppier look, which also adds an analog feel that I think is really nice. Well, that concludes this tutorial. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did and you'd like to see more tutorials, please go ahead and subscribe because we're making new ones all the time. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.